All right, it's time to continue our uh, FPS tutorial series, uh, tutorial in uh, Unity 3D. And uh, last time, what we did, we created a terrain, we added the player, uh, added some trees, uh, grass, mountains, and added some light to the uh, area without using any codes. So now in this uh, video, I'll show you how to add a skybox and uh, two weapons. So a skybox is basically the skies to the level. And uh, we're going to add a panoramic image to the level, which creates uh, this really nice skies for the environment. And to do that, what we need... Now, you will need six images. I'll show you what I mean. First of all, we need to go to Assets, Create, Material. And you should get something like this. Uh, in the project view, if you get this... Uh, Ob uh, object with the icon of a gray ball, a shining one, that's a material. And on the shader, we're going to go to Render FX, Skybox. Now you'll need six images of skies, which are in the front, back, left, right, up, and down. Once you get those six images, drag them into the project view and assign them. Now I'm not going to be doing one, doing one because uh, I already that is already a ready-made one for us so to do that we're gonna go to standard assets uh, skyboxes source images and you get this dream box material now six images has already been assigned to it and uh, to assign it go to edit render settings uh, skybox material it should be set to none we're gonna drag this dream box material into this uh, into the variable for skybox material and now look at your game it looks much better it looks realistic a bit more uh, you get as I said again the game is much better and let's continue so now what would be a first person shooter without any weapons so now we're gonna add some weapons so before doing anything you had to go to game object create other I mean create empty and we're gonna add a uh, empty game object. We're gonna rename this to weapons. This is where our oops, we're gonna add our weapons in here. So this empty game object will be the group where we're gonna store our weapons in. So let's apply that. Okay. So now we're gonna drag this uh, game object and add it as a child object of the main camera, which is also a child object of the first person controller. Now the reason why we want this weapons game object to be a child object of the main camera instead of first person control is because uh, if it's not a child object of the main camera the weapon won't follow the camera at all times, it'll just stay over there without, without following any object. If it's a child object of the main camera the gun will follow the player at all times. So um, I'll show you what I mean. Let's add the weapon just to explain it a little better. We're gonna go to objects, uh, weapons, and drag this machine gun 3D object into the scene view. Now adjust it and look at the game view at the same time to know where you're adding the uh, weapon. Let's put it over there. That should do. Now this machine gun will be Oh wait! Before doing anything, now we're gonna add another game, uh, empty game object to this uh, weapons game object. Go to game object, create empty. We're gonna change this to machine gun. They will both have the same name, but just add something to make it different. We're gonna add this as a child object to weapons, and the real object will be a. Uh, uh, a child object to the uh, empty game object machine gun. Okay, so uh, now what we're gonna do? So let's test it. Now this is what I mean. If the game object is following, uh, I mean, is the child object of main of the main camera, it will follow the player at all times. So now let's just make this gun have some sort of behavior. So now the object has no idea what to do. Uh, so we need to add a script to, uh, to tell the uh, object to act like a weapon. So go to weapon scripts, 
machine gun. It's a ready-made script. And we're going to just uh, drag that script and add it in the empty game object machine gun. Just drag it in there. Now we're going to click it. And now you have this empty muzzle flash variable. Now the muzzle flash is the child object of the real machine gun. See? So we're going to click on machine gun. Drag the muzzle flash object, which is, you know, the child object of machine gun, and drag it into the muzzle flash variable. And, uh, oh yeah, one last thing. Since we're adding two weapons, uh, we need to add a script to the weapons game object to tell that uh, there's going to be weapon switching. So we're just going to click on uh, player weapons and drag that script into the weapons game object. So as you can see, the script has been added. Okay, and one more thing, uh, we need to add some particles, so when the bullet hits something, it will show some sort of sparks. So what I'm going to do is, uh, I'm going to go to standard assets again, go to a uh, particles, now you get this sparks prefab. Now this prefab has all the... Uh, components ready with it, the particle renderer, animator, particle emitter, and the texture. So we're going to add it into the scene view. Let's position this a little. Okay, I forgot the last step. Uh, you get the sparks object over here, right? We're going to drag it as the child object to the machine gun object. The uh, real object, not the empty one. Continue again. Now let's test it. I can't believe I forgot that. There we go. Now we see some sparks when it hits something. 